Welcome to the Who New Podcast with Bruce Lubin. I'm Jennifer Boudinot, the editor of the Who New Books. Today, we're going to talk about the big game on Sunday, including tips for food, partying, and more. And of course, there's our usual tip from thepennyhoarder.com and our life hack lightning round. Hey, Bruce. Hello, Jen. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So do we have to call the big game? Can we say the Super Bowl or will we get... Yeah, I think, I think you just have to pay a million dollars just for saying that. We're supposed okay. to say there's a big game on Sunday. We'll leave it up to you guys <laughs> to, to figure out game. which big game right. we might be talking about. And <laughs> if you want to hashtag that, mm-hmm. make sure you hashtag it big game. Because if you hashtag it with the name of the actual game, then... I mean, I guess if you're just a person doing it, they won't charge you. But mm-hmm. if I you're... I guess we'll find out. Super Bowl. No, I guess we'll find out. You can't say out. it. Pretty soon, what else are people going to own? Like, we're not going to be able to say Christmas and Halloween. It's going to be like, uh, you know, right. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Halloween. Right. Exactly And if right. you don't say it that way, then you have to pay extra money. That's how it's going to end up. <laughs> but first, we have our tip from PennyHoarder.com, also about the big game. All right, let's hear it. Hey everybody, it's Justin from ThePennyHoarder.com. I'm here with today's Money Hack. The big game is upon us, and whether you're throwing a party for one or 50, we have some tips to help you save on it. Check out the dollar store for paper supplies and decor, or find free printables online if you're the DIY type. Most traditional football snacks are already cheap, but if your party's large enough, you can save even more buying items like ketchup, mayo, mustard, and even salsa in bulk. You can also enlist your friends to bring an appetizer or dessert, or even make it a BYOB night. And should you live in a participating area, make sure to save your empty beer bottles and cans to get your deposit back, because every penny counts. I am not a huge sports fan. You know this about me. I mean, I do there, I, I don't mind watching a game every now and then, even a big game. But well, for won't. this particular big game, for me, it's just basically about food. I will happily sit in the corner and stuff my face and pretend Perfect. to be watching sports if it means that I can intake twice the amount of calories that I'm well, supposed to do in a day with the, a good excuse. That's what the big game is for, <laughs> right? That in the commercials, even if you don't like the game. So I'm hoping you have food tips for us today. Big tips. game food tips. All right. So let's start with wings because everyone anytime. has wings. Well, yes. but for the big game. Mm-hmm. So what you want to do with your chicken wings is you want to put some coarse salt on them in the uh, and place them uncovered in the refrigerator overnight. Before that, you cook them. Yep. That'll get them sort of dried. It seems sort of counterintuitive that you want to let them dry out, but you do because you want them really crispy. Right? Yeah, that's for the. And cr- so that's exactly what you do to make Oof, them like. I love crispy your buffalo wings. Recipe, and then make sure to put the sauce the on after you cook them. You Indeed. make that delicious sauce. You always want to mm-hmm. slather it on mm-hmm. first, but then they won't. They won't be crispy that way. So, and if you're making hot dogs, uh huh, the easiest way to do it is to just throw them in a slow cooker with no water or no anything. Just put them on low for like about four hours. Yes. And I've seen easy. pictures of this online. You can make a million hot dogs that yes, way. If you, you stand the hot dogs up on end in the slow cooker, you can fit like literally a million, literally 50, a million? 50, 50, 50 <laughs> to 1 million hot dogs in there. <laughs> um. <laughs> so if you're having anywhere from 50 to a million guests. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you should be making your hot dogs. What I always make for the super big game, there I go, there I go, is chili. And oh, what I you love do chili. is you use, you use inexpensive meat, right? That's like sort of the thing about chili. But Stew what you want to do, or whatever right, called, right, the day before, just soak it in beer. Oh, I and bet that's really tasty. It's fantastic. And then just let it marinate overnight and then use your whatever recipe you have. But that's a great way to impart some flavor. I've got one for when you were talking about buffalo wings. I thought of this. It's a condiment, sour cream. I always yes. like to serve my buffalo wings. If you don't have blue mm-hmm. cheese, sour cream is the next best thing. So this is a Hunu tip I love where if you add a little bit of white vinegar oh, to your course. sour cream as soon as you open it, then it lasts way longer. Mm-hmm. So if you're just buying sour cream to use for the big game, then mm-hmm. you can keep the sour cream for much longer. Just add a little bit of vinegar before. Right. And you use like a teaspoon for a little container or sometimes up to two tablespoons for like 16 ounces. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. We mentioned beer before, so I'm going to give you another beer tip. So if you've got half, uh, you know, empty beers, when all your that's, guests... That's me, yeah. You know, <laughs> when they all leave, what I'm you want to do, and this is sort of frat house, but kind of gross. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. You're going to pour them all into a bucket. You're going <laughs> to let them sit for a day or two, and then you're going to 
Use them in your potted plants once they're flat. Yes, they make good fertilizer. They do indeed. They do yeah. indeed. I've done so, that before. How about that? What about burgers and sliders? Do you have anything for burgers? Oh, there's, there's, I know you have. This is a setup because well, I know you have burgers. Hell tips. yes. Can I say hell yes to that? <laughs> you can't so. say you can say hell. You can't say <laughs> the name of the game. No, of course not. That would be <laughs> awkward. There's a bunch of tips we have for hamburgers in, in, in on on our site. One of my favorites would be that be f- to keep them from breaking apart when you grill them, what you want to do is just put them in the freezer about five minutes before you before mm-hmm. you grill them, right? Because it saves a lot of money to make your own hamburger patties mm-hmm. yourself. Mm-hmm. You can buy them at the store in patty form, but they're a lot more expensive that That's way. That's exactly right. So we you should be doing do that. that. And when you're making them, if you wash your hands with like uh, cold water, it will help shape them into hamburger patties and it won't get stuck on your hands. <laughs> So are you having a Super Bowl party this I year? I always you going have a Super Bowl it? party. I yeah, I know boys. you guys we... love, I know your mm-hmm. boys love the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. The year that the Giants were playing, I remember they all painted their faces and everything. Mm-hmm. Are they as into it this year? Well, Who's playing this year? Well, our, in our alternative facts uh, world, the Giants have won already. So that's what we're saying. <laughs> Here's who's playing. Uh, the Giants have always won in our hearts, haven't they? <laughs> in my heart, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe not technically like where the counts, Packers but... are playing, of course. And then we're rooting oh, for the, the, uh, the non-Packers. Well, we will, well we I'm will... from the Midwest. Re- I might have to root for the Packers. I'm a Bears fan and the Bears hate the Packers, but <laughs> so I don't know who I'm supposed to root for. I root for the food. I you really do. root for the I really food do. and the commercials and the halftime show. I've actually right? thought of having a Super Bowl party just because I like parties and food. And the Super Bowl really is the holiday of overeating. I mean, Thanksgiving, I guess, is the holiday of overeating. But Super Bowl is number two. Oh, yeah. But, I, you know, it's like I don't really follow s- football, so I can't really have a Super Bowl party. But if I were to have a Super Bowl party, any tips for partying in general? Well, I think for for people like you who are not really into it, yeah. presumably you're going to have people that really want to watch it. What you should do is if you have two TVs, is set both of them up. And so one is like in the living room for the serious fans mm-hmm. and one is elsewhere where people just want to hang out. I like that. Of... That's me. I would be at the yeah. alternate TV. As to, as That's a really to... good tip. I was thinking more like I thought you were going to tell me to like use a hamper as an extra garbage can. Because the- <laughs> that's a great tip, too. <laughs> that is actually a, a who knew tip. Because if you need extra, you know what? I I, I, I think you're poking fun at the who knew tip. <laughs> and I want to tell you why you want to do that. So if you need an extra garbage uh, can, which I you want to do. I just know you all too well. Just, just, I know where your mind's at. You're like, you need a garbage can, grab that who hamper. Doesn't- Grab that hamper, put a yeah. bag in it, and off you go. <laughs> That's exactly right. Also, if you're if you're serving, you're like you want a long table, and you don't own a long table, get card tables like the square ones. Yeah, I and just keep of... them together using empty coffee cans. You know, you're gonna laugh, but I actually have multiple card tables because I, as I tell people, I live in Brooklyn. I don't actually have a table. I don't have like a kitchen oh, table or a shame. dining room table. Because I don't, I don't know. I you whatever. Go fund me for your table. That's no, what I don't. Do. I don't want a table. I have. I only have so much room, and I eat on my lap anyway. I'm like a TV eater, so I actually do have a couple card tables, and I like that to keep the. Uh, the That's legs right. You together. keep them together using um, coffee cans. Just put the legs in coffee cans. One tip I think is really cute that um, you've written about in the past is using uh, containers for six packs, like yeah. six pack of beer. Yep. Um, except that you can put a bunch of condiments in it, and that's kind of cute for a table and it's handy you can move it around so you put your ketchup in there and your mustard and whatever else you can even put um, plastic utensils in there you can put napkins or or whatever all of it exactly right that's a great tip yep well you guys wrote it so well (laughs) and i keep going back to beer i don't know why that is but if (laughs) because it's the big game it is the big game tm oh no i'm sorry the other one's the tm right (laughs) (laughs) so if you have a cooler and you want to get your beer or your soda whatever it is really cold what you want to do is put put your drinks in there put water and salt oh yes this is a tip that we have told people before with uh, how to keep your drinks but it's important and you guys should all commit it to memory and then we won't have to tell you anymore so you fill your your uh cooler with (laughs) salt and ice and water and the salt will actually bring the temperature of the water down below freezing like a really cold lake yeah so your beer or whatever will will, uh, get really cold in just a matter of you mean the ocean lakes are fresh water you mean a really cold ocean to bathe your beer in? well but freshwater lakes just to just (laughs) some of them are have a little salt in them so you know they get they feel really really cold below 32 degrees yeah no i love that tip and it's also fast too if people bring warm beer 
Also, if your cooler is stinky, you can just use vanilla. Put a little bit of vanilla. I love the smell of vanilla, so I'll use any tip that that has vanilla involved. But you just put a little bit of vanilla on a paper towel or a cotton ball and use that to rub out your cooler. And it disinfects with the alcohol and it smells awesome. That's a great tip. So I think we've covered all the best tips for the big game. Drinking, food, <laughs> and your cooler. I have, I have a couple more. Um, this what else is you got? Now, this will surprise you because I know you and Jeannie wrote this post thinking of New Year's. DIY noisemakers. If you guys want to oh. make some noisemakers, search who knew DIY noisemakers and you'll find um, posts. There's some, there's some fun stuff on how to make a party horn with a little cardboard tube and yep. wax paper and... It's just, you know, some easy ways to make noise. Because, I mean, if the kids are there, that's what they want to do. That's is, right. They want to make, make noise. noise. They want to make noise. Should we do some more? You want to? You have any more? Let's let's do let's do one more. All one right. Let's more talk about burgers again. To, oh, yeah. One more burger tip. Yeah. So We people, can't have too many burger tips. No, you tips. can't. What you want to do is, is let them go up to room temperature, your burgers, before you grill them. That's a great way to keep them juicy. Because mm. if you grill them when they're really, really cold... The way the 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 water in it dissipates mm-hmm. is much too fast. Mm-hmm. So just let them stay at room temperature for forty five minutes, and then you grill away. And uh, that's a good one. Should we go to our lightning round? I love the lightning round. What do you think? So what did Jeannie uh, write down for us today? For those who are unfamiliar, the life hack lightning round is where we take a household object and we name as many things as we can with that household object. Uh, and the last, the person who has the most wins. What is it today? Today it is potatoes. Ooh, potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, we've got lots of stuff for potatoes. Oof, potatoes. Well, I'm going to go first. All right, you Can go I first. go first? Yeah, I got I'm, one thinking. Right. I'm thinking. So when you store potatoes, you never want to store them with onions because they You w- used that one when we did onions for the life hack. Well, because round. it's an important one. So we have to reiterate <laughs> that uh, because both of them will change the texture of the other. So you yeah. can cook them together, but you, you never want to store them together. Yeah. So there you go. That is a good tip. Okay, potatoes. Potatoes are really good for kids' crafts. You can make a stamp with a potato pretty easily. So you just get out a little knife and you can cut a star into a potato or what have you know, cut it in half and then cut into it. And um, they're really good for keeping your kids entertained. Dip them in paint. You know what else they're great for? If you break a light bulb off and like half of it's in your (gasps) the outlet. This is such a good one. Cut a potato in half and jam it against the the uh, broken bulb and then twist it. If you break a bulb, that's right. Trying to unscrew it, you don't want to touch all of the broken shards of glass. So you just shove a potato up in there. (laughs) Exactly right. Do you have any Um, others? Because I got another one. I have someone making potatoes. So if you're making potatoes and you're peeling them and you don't want them to turn brown, oh, this is good. Um, then you can soak them in water and vinegar. Yep. And then they will stay white and then you can, it doesn't really affect, affect the flavor. So like, you know, your kids helped you peel a bunch of potatoes, if you're lucky, <laughs> mm-hmm. for mashed potatoes, and you don't want them all to go brown, then just soak them in water and vinegar and they will stay white until you're ready to use them. Excellent, excellent. I think that might be Speaking, my last potato. Well, then I, I think I'm going to win because I you you just gave me an no. Idea wait, for I one. thought of I thought of one. So right. when you're peeling your potatoes, the best way to do it, the easiest way to clean them up because they go all over the place, uh-huh. is line your sink with old newspaper. Peel the potatoes there. Then you just have to clean the newspaper, throw it out. No fuss, no muss. That's a potato nice skins one. are gone. How about that? I was going to say if you're boiling potatoes. Save the potato water, and then you can use it to water your plants. That's good fertilizer. That's a great way to water your plants. With the starch, yeah. the plants love the starch mm-hmm. and the nutrients. That really was my last potato. Lord, I have one more. Okay, what's yours? Acne. So potatoes have been shown to be very effective treating acne. So all you need to do is just cut a piece of the potato, put it up against the offending blemish, <laughs> and it'll really dries it help. out mm-hmm. with sure all does. that starchy sure water. Does. Is that it? Do it's I think one. I am declared you the won. winner? Yes, of the I declare. Round? Well, I hereby go. declare the <laughs> the winner of the light, <laughs> lightning round. Gosh, I'm gonna have to up my game. <laughs> uh, all right, so thank you so much for listening to us today. Um, for these tips and more, visit quickanddirtytips.com/slash who knew, where you can find all of these tips and many more. Thank you as always to Quick and Dirty Tips for producing our podcast. And take a look for us out on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, or anywhere else you happen to be on the internet. Just search Who Knew Tips and you can find our daily tips. 
And if you love our podcast as much as we love doing our podcast, Mm -hmm. please review us on iTunes, Stitcher, or whatever you get your podcasts. Doing reviews helps people find us and make sure we can keep bringing this to you every other week. And we're so shallow. We want those reviews. Yeah, we yeah, yeah we mm-hmm. live we live for them. <laughs> <laughs> we put them under our pillow and that's how we sleep at Yes, night. we do. <laughs> thanks, Bruce. And thanks for everyone uh, thanks, listening. Jen. We'll see you next time. <laughs>